spinning from the YouTube dog show. This is week five, the LU, and now a man who Jeffrey Wright is afraid of, Ellie Conyur. Ha! Welcome to week five, the update, my guy Coppers. This is Ellie Conyur speaking. Alright, so I shout out to all that winners of Entertainers Warehouse, LC Cargo Gaming Tech, HOS Man X, and Nef519. That's right, a Beast to this fan, a Batman movie and so maker and so on and so forth, a gamer, and a vlogger. There you go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the man, the legend, the, the superplex, Adam Muir. Oh, no, Adam. Yo! Alright. Adam, come here, man. Tonight we're talking about Jeffrey Wright. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who is he? Exactly. He's not pop. I mean, he has been a supporting actor on various TV shows and in various films. Okay. Now, you and I uh, have mentioned supporting actors many times before on this program, right? Okay. And you always said that supporting actors don't mean much, right? Depends on how they're used. How? <laughs> Players are usually the ones who make or break the film, right? Well, they are the supporting cat. Yeah, but here's the thing, all right? Westworld, you know, uh, people are saying that you know Jeffrey Wright might win an Emmy Award for his work on Westworld. What the fuck is that? Uh, it's just an HBO show that's about a robotic part, actually, and an amusement park that's made by wo by Wolverine. Jur Jurassic Park, but but instead of the past, it's the future. Right. And don't you think that we've had uh, something like that before? Oh wait, you already said that. But this is getting ridiculous, man. Yeah, telling me. And speaking of which, let's get on to tonight's top eight. No. I'm triggered. Top eight reasons why Jeffrey Jeffrey White is not, not relevant. relevant. Number eight. Do you know him? Number seven. Do you care for his work? Number six, he's one of those supporting actors. Shut up. Number five, he's not cool. Go on. Number four, we're talking about him right now. Number three, Westworld is on HBO. Go on. Number two, he has no talent. Number one, he might as well be a ghost. What does that even mean? What does that even mean, Eli? I don't know, but I'll tell you this right now. What does that even mean? You know, he's not even getting enough uh, respect uh, from the press. He 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 probably he probably is, but but sheep like you don't know. Actually, let's be honest. You know, uh, not a lot of people uh, care about him because of people like George Clooney or Denzel Washington. Speaking of... Uh, what, what do they have to do with it? No idea, but we're going to go to uh, some of these commercials and we'll be right back. By the way, tonight's sponsor is the original Top Gun uh, movie. I'm an instructor at this school. I see 20 new hot shots every eight weeks. I just don't want anyone to know that I've fallen for you. 
Lieutenant, I can't hear you. I can see it's dangerous for you, but if the government trusts me, maybe you could. This is going to be complicated. Tom Cruise, Kelly McGillis, Top Gun, rated PG. Mr. President, General Grant's coming on Saturday, and we need new carpeting. You can't get new carpeting in three days, Mary. Empire, Mr. President. Call Empire. Only one company promises you brand name carpeting in 72 hours. Empire. Try us. Here comes the General right on time. Glad Empire was on time, too, Mary. For brand name carpeting installed in 72 hours, even the Lincolns would have to call Empire. 588 to 300 Empire. America is turning to Nick at night after they see what else is on. Sunday, you got your football. And of course, Monday night, sometimes Thursday, too. But if there's no game on, sure. Maybe I'll watch that Nick at night. Another fireman who first looks for football, but then looks for the good TV guarantee. Shows with TV Land Giants, Real Patriots, and the Chiefs, too. America is turning to Nick at night after we see what else is on. From the Gold Derby uh, website, you know, where they talk about all things uh, Emmy Awards and blah, 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 right? Right. It says here that uh, Jeffrey Wright won't make Emmy history in Best Drama Supporting Actor, but he can still join a very small club if he wins Best Drama Actor for Westworld. Okay. He gets to be uh, the fifth black winner in the category. Last year, it was Sterling K. Brown. Wow. And he was on This Is Us, an NBC show. Wow, good job. Yeah, now here's the thing, all right? Bill Cosby was the first black actor to win. With a three Duh. from 66 to 68 for the show I Spy. Duh, because Bill Co Cosby is a freaking god. Oh, now, listen to this, all right? Andre Brower uh, from a Homicide, Life on the Street. He won in 1988, but here's something interesting, right? In Gabriel Spire, do you know who starred in that show? Who? James Earl Jones. Okay. Have you ever heard of him? Nope. He's a legend. A legend. Dear life. Okay, okay. He was on the original Sesame Street. He had that deep voice. You know, kind of like Morgan Freeman, but deeper. He's a legend. Dear life. He also had an had an ear. Mean meaning he could hear. He has two everybody has two ears, lad. Stop saying lad, you're not freaking Scottish. Okay, fine. But Adam, let's think about this for a moment. What? Right. You know what? Uh, it says here that if Wright doesn't win. He'll have to wait two years for his next shot with Westworld, since season three doesn't even start production until next June. I'm like, RIP. Ah, hold on. Something is not right. Something is not right. You know, let's look this thing up. What do you mean? That's just what it is. Oh, really? Well, let's take a look at this, mate. All right? Says here that the uh, season premiere, I mean, that the show premiered, on October 2nd, 2016. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Pre right? Pretty con consistent views, I guess. Well, yes. And may not be a lot, but still it's on the HBO, so what can you expect? Now, that's not the main thing, alright? That's not the main thing, alright? Here's the deal, alright? Season 1 began in 2016, right? Season 2, you would think, oh, it will begin the following year, right? Well, it began this past April. Yep. Now, they said the next season won't start shooting until next June. Meaning that the next season won't come out until 2020. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. Makes sense, because it's like every two years, about, it, it uh, comes back. Really? If uh, they're only uh, bringing it back after every two years, then what's the point of uh, renewing it? What do you mean? Well, 
if a television show is that's been renewed, right? Then shouldn't uh, a new season come out? Oh, I don't know. Every year? No. What are you talking about? That's how all TV shows work. So they don't run out of ideas. They they have time to think and then cast. Really? Yeah. Let me uh, tell you this, mate. All right. The show is renewed for a second season in November of 2016, right? Okay. But here's the thing, all right? It took them a year and a half to make the second season. Okay. And then it took the entire uh, casting crew, you know, uh, not even a month after the beginning of the second season to get renewed for a third season. Okay. Now, it says here that the writers and producers have planned for the story to last up to five seasons, but I don't know. I mean, let's be honest, alright? Ten episodes a season? Yeah. And they're only bringing it back every two years? Yeah, you see the episodes supposed to stick with you, with each episode be, be you know, per pretty freaking good. Oh, yeah, but let's be honest, right? The show is on HBO. HBO! Okay, and? So, uh, if the show is on HBO, then why would, uh, why would you want to take so much time to make it? To make sure, like I said, each episode is as good as it can be. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this Jeffrey Wright uh, character real quick. Alright? He appeared off-Broadway in New York City in the late 80s and early 90s. He seems okay, you know. Yeah, but take a look at this, alright? These are the films that he has done, alright? Presumed Innocent. Okay. Then he did Hamlet. Okay. And then he did Blackout. He was in the Mocking Jay. Right, right, okay. He was in uh, one of the uh, Hunger Games uh, films. Okay. So, actually. Uh, Both! Idiot! Well, yeah, but part one and two, they're practically part of the same movie. No. And you got Captain Fire. Catching fire. Catching fire and, and mocking Jay. Thank okay. you. And he and and he doesn't seem that bad. He seems to be all right. Okay. Wait a minute. You sure that? Uh... Yes. Okay. If you say so. Uh, I mean, what? I mean, what do you mean? He shit? No, I'm not saying that, but. You know, uh, I mean, just because he is a, a well-known god. I mean, he is e e elected for an, an Emmy, so e elected. Nominated. I know, elected. Oh boy. He has it passed the the e election yet, but he has been e. Elected for for the election for an for a, for an Emmy. Okay. So we're saying he's uh, all right. Let's yeah. wait until uh, he starts getting Oscars. Then. Uh <laughs> Show for a night. I'll see you tomorrow. That's the news. I'm out. Peace. Hello, everyone.